What's up guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. I hope you're all doing super, super well. Today is March 7th, I believe. It is Wednesday, March 7th. I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse on what's going on in the tent. If you are new to this channel and you found this channel on YouTube, make sure to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. This way, you get notifications in your email every single time I upload a video. So I know I haven't um, exactly been on schedule with uploading the videos because uh, it seems like I usually upload about maybe every Thursday, Saturday, or Sunday on the uh, on the weekly tent updates, see what we got going on, anything new, stuff like that. Well, today I'm going to give you an update and I'm also going to give you some other cool stuff, upload some other videos. Um, so let's get into it. Well, what do we have? Unfortunately, we have some bad news and we have some good news. Let's go with the bad news first, okay? So, take a look at this mint, okay? This mint is kind of going bad, and I believe it's due to the basil. And what do I mean by that? Have you ever, got, uh, have you ever like had a fruit bowl? You have a fruit bowl, and you have different type of fruit inside that fruit bowl, or vegetables. Now, some of you might know or don't know is that each vegetable or fruit gives off a certain gas, okay? And that will actually create, um, basically ripen the other fruit much faster and make it go bad, just like this. I really wanted to show you this example of what's really going on because when you take a look at this, and it's near these basal uh, roots, and I mean the inside system is just crazy, okay? I can't even lift it up because it's just gonna get all messed up, but I kinda like left it to, just to shoot this video and then I'm going to take this down. Maybe uh, make another uh, tomato mozzarella uh, with the basil, but that's really it. But look at this basil, right? I mean, uh, look at this mint, the orange mint, and then come down here and look at this one. Now, this all came in at the same time, they all grew up at the same time, and look at these leaves. I mean, <laughs> the smell off this one is incredible. It smells just like it should. Wow, it's it's like a cologne. It's unbelievable. And look back here. What do we have? Oh yeah, it's going. Okay. If you're new to the channel, I am growing two watermelons right here. It could be way more. Depends on how goes. I I don't know. I've never grown <laughs> never grew a watermelon. On top of that, never grown a watermelon indoors hydroponically. But wait, what is that? Okay, I thought that was I thought that was like a little watermelon guy already. But uh, overall, I mean, this thing is looking sweet. Nice prickly, and I mean, this thing is growing really, really well. Hopefully, I'll uh, give it a little bit of food, a little bit of nutrient, and uh, it'll be on its way, as you can see. Got little uh, curlies growing. It's just like a vine that you have growing um, when you're growing cucumbers, and I will be growing those this summer. I cannot wait, literally. In the next like matter of like few weeks, I'm going to be setting up a whole crazy outside setup, hopefully. Um, talk is cheap. And I also want to set something up at my parents' house. So we'll see. Um, watermelon. Amazing orange mint plant. Things are not going right here. So these are all getting taken down. Now, the, uh, the old carrots. You guys remember in the last episode, these were doing good. Now, I mean, they're, they're flourishing. I mean, they're, they're doing good, but there's an issue. They're just not growing properly. Let's take a look inside. I mean, like, it needs some water, but honestly, the water is touching the roots. It's doing fine. But, I mean, some back here are growing, but they're kind of scary and sketchy with the, with the, I mean, it's just looking ugly, man. It is just looking ugly. I mean, look at the carrot. Though. I mean, it's growing. All right, let's. Let's not, not say it's not growing. They're growing. But it is just ugly, and some of them are just ugly and twisted up, and I don't even know what it is. I mean, the root system looks pretty nice and not bad. I mean, it's in water. It's gotten some nutrients, but, you know, honestly, I, I'm going to have to say no to growing carrots hydroponically ever again. That's just my opinion. I think this is overwhelming, number one. I think uh, the way that they grow is kind of tough for an indoor an indoor hydroponic garden. I mean, I'm sure it's, you can make it successful if you figure it out, you plan it out, and you set it up properly. But overall, personally, 
I'm not into it. That's going to be special. Let's come over here real quick. What do we got here? Okay. Let me um, let me lower this a little bit. This is the current like okay. This is three watermelons in dirt under an LED light. Now don't forget guys, I got two T5s working. I mean actually four T5s down there, four T5s right here, and only one LED right here. Now some people say they should be a, the, the light should be a lot closer to the plants. Okay, maybe. But depending on the radius that it covers, this is what's going on. This is the power that I'm getting from 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 the plant. I mean, uh, from the light. I mean, I have three plants here. There's one that's doing pretty well. One that's like fairly small, and the other one that's also fairly small. I mean, they look healthy, but the leaves are like so premature. I mean, it's it's coming along. It's taking a lot longer. It's not at that stage. I mean, look at that thing. And then you got all right, so that's that. Now, I got some carrots here. I don't even know when the right time is. When's the, to, when's the right time to pull these out? I don't even know. But these are looking pretty good. Nice little carrots. They feel good at the top. But, I mean, overall, these are doing well. But I can't see the progress down below. That's, uh, that's that. I just, I can't see what's going on. I, you know, one of them is like purplish. And I don't think I got this like the 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 kind that's supposed to be different colors, but it's looking all right. I mean, I got some green, got some purple. <laughs> all right, I mean, it's looking pretty good. And then I got my lavender. Okay, I got my lavender, and it actually smells really nice. I mean, it's still growing. Um, it's probably just you know a few weeks in. Woo, that's nice. I can't. I, I don't even know what that's gonna look like. But honestly, I think that these things are not fully developing like they should. Because this is just <coughs> this is just not strong enough. That's my opinion. That's all I have to say. But I mean, overall, they look healthy. Looks good. You know, I just watered everything. It looks healthy and it looks good and it feels nice. It feels like it's got nice water content to it, which means it's it's feeling strong. But. But unfortunately, it just doesn't look like that, and I'm, I, I feel like I have such greater success under, you know, more T5 lights. You know, I think I think maybe certain plants require a, a certain type of spectrum, and I mean, okay, so the LED gives off a certain spectrum, and this is just like an, a natural white light, kind of mimicking it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Leave me a comment down below if you if you're a, a light genius and you really understand. Um, what's going on, but honestly, I, I feel like it's just better to grow under uh, regular T5s. Looks really good. I mean, look at, the, look at the high quality greenery on that. I mean, it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, well, that's it, guys. I just wanted to fill you guys in. I have uh, uh, several different types of lettuce that's being germinated right now. Um, probably I'm probably just going to let this run for a little bit. I might move this down here just for a little bit of time. I'm going to give this another like, I'm going to try to give this another like 20, 20 to 30 days maybe. It's kind of annoying me already. I'm going to take this all down and I'm going to get a beautiful three tier, uh, three reservoir across the one tier of lettuce all across. And uh, I, I've missed some really good lettuce. I, I want some nice, nice lettuce. And um, I think it's I think it's time to uh, get that going. You know, summer's around the corner. Unfortunately, right now it's literally like snowing outside in in my neck of the woods. And uh, but we are growing inside, and we are doing our thing. So that's awesome. Again, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell for notifications. And down below, right down below here, is a list of everything that I use to maintain my grow and everything that you need to set up your grow. Everything from the reservoirs, to the pumps, to the tubing, to the to the clay pebbles, to the nutrients, everything, even lights. Make sure to hit those links down below if you're interested in setting up your own grow. Also, make sure to uh, go to the uh, Facebook link, and that's down below also. 
And uh, there you can ask me questions. You can ask me questions here, leave a comment, and I always get back to everybody when I have time. But I, I, I certainly do try to reach back out. And um, you know, sometimes the comments on YouTube are cluttered. So if you have something to say and you, you, you want a, some of my feedback, shoot me a message on Facebook, on the Grow Indoors 365 Facebook, and I will certainly get back to you. Guys, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your week, and I will talk to you soon.